Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this really quick and easy no makeup makeup look. This has absolutely no foundation in it, minimal products, really super quick and easy. So if you guys would like to see how I created this makeup look and what products I use, make sure you keep on watching. So to begin with I'm going to be taking the Simple Moisturiser, it is the rich version and I'm just going to massage that all into my skin. And then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, I use the shade Two. And I'm just going to pop this on the high points of my face. This is just going to give me a little bit of extra coverage and it's also going to just give me a little bit of a nice natural glow as well. So nothing too super glowy so I want to keep this as natural as possible. To blend out this product I'm just using the Real Techniques sponge. You can use your fingers but I much prefer to use a sponge. Obviously your fingers do carry a lot of bacteria which can lead to spots. So I just personally prefer to use a sponge. You could use a brush for whatever you guys would prefer. I'm now taking the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in the shade C4. I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyes and then I'm going to dispense a little bit of the product on the back of my hand and go in with a brush as you guys can see and this is where I'm going to start covering any spots or any acne scarring. You want to make sure that you are using a brush to do this as you don't want to contaminate the product that you are using. By the way before anyone starts panicking any of the products that I go in with on my own face are my own products. I have my own kit as well as my client kit. So as you guys can see here I'm just really softly blending this out using the Real Techniques sponge and then if I need to add any more products I will so I'm just adding a little bit extra around my nose and on my cheeks. This is where I get the majority of my redness so I just want to cover that up just so that my skin looks a little bit more flawless but I'm not going everywhere with the conceal I'm just adding it where it needs to be. Also when you are doing a makeup look like a no makeup makeup look you want to make sure that you're using a concealer as close to your natural skin tone as possible. So it's really important to make sure you are using one that's close to your natural skin tone because otherwise you're going to end up with really bright under eyes or bright concealed areas and you want this to look as natural as possible so you want to make it look like you've got no makeup on whatsoever. So I'm just taking a little bit of extra product under my eyes as I do suffer from quite bad dark circles so I just wanted to make sure that they were looking a little bit less dark and obvious. I'm now going to go in with some powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 102. So I'm using powder to first of all make sure that everything is going to stay in place. Obviously when you are using cream products they do have a tendency to move around your face a little bit. So it's really important to make sure that you are setting your cream products into place. And I'm also using it just to add a little bit of extra coverage. So that is our base makeup all finished. I know that I've not used any blushes or anything but as I said I wanted to keep this as natural as possible so I'm now gonna start with my eyebrows and I'm just gonna first of all take a clean spoolie and brush through them and remove any excess product that somehow managed to get into my eyebrows then I'm just gonna take a clear brow gel I think this is the collection mascara and then once I've applied that I like to go back over with a spoolie just make sure that my brows are nice and stuck into place for mascara I'm going to be using the Colour Lash Brown Mascara from Collection and I'm using a brown mascara because sometimes black can be a little bit too harsh as I said I wanted to keep this really natural and really subtle. I don't really rate this as a mascara I usually just use this on my brows hence why I'm using a spoolie. If you guys are on the market for a brown mascara I would definitely recommend the Benefit Their Real Tinted Lash Primer so basically it is a lash primer and it is brown but you can also put like a normal mascara on over it but it does look beautiful by itself really really nice brown shade looks perfect on everyone for lips i'm keeping it super simple and i'm just going to use some vaseline plus this adds a little bit of hydration as well and just to add a little bit of moisture to my face i'm going to go in with one of the mario badescu facial sprays i think this is the aloe and lavender one and then just to pat all that into my skin i'm just going to take the same sponge i've been using throughout the video and here we have the final look i know this is really simple it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea but hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway and hopefully it's helpful for anyone who is after a super simple everyday no makeup makeup look if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone